Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. Ensure the integrity of your multi purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Good morning, Welcome good afternoon. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Note, objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to, onboarding. First objective, please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Game Mag UK and I am back. Well, this is the start of a satisfactory uh, series. So we've literally just landed. Uh, this is our um, drop pod, quite a small drop pod, similar to sort of Icarus, where you land on the planet and you've got to start building a base from pretty much nothing. So the first thing we've got to do is dismantle this. Gone. And that has given us uh, some resources. All important fixit data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Uh, here's a codex, list of parts that you know about. So yeah, what we've got so far. Um, Second objective: please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note: according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. So you press um, F to dismantle things, and you see you get the orange flashing bar on the outside, which we just did to dismantle that. You press Tab to bring up inventory. Make sure you've got Fixit Incorporated Zapper in your hand. Um, that's your hook parts there. Um, then you For press. An objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. You Note, pressed. the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. If you shut up long enough, you press Q to bring up your build menu. To um, search for iron or any other mineral, you press and hold V. At the moment, you've only got iron, but you start getting copper, um, iron, sorry, copper, iron, oil, Uranium, there's all, all kinds come up in here eventually. Um, and you have to select which one you want to. When you let go, it goes ping. And then you see at the top, all these flashing icons in the distance. That's how far away they are. So the closest one, I guess, is that one. So we'll head that way. Now, while we're heading that way, I've seen over here, there are some red berries. 
which I know are red berries. So these things are red berries. Uh, press E to pick them up, and they will this recover your health. This is one of multiple edibles we have detected in your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R&D. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. So as you see, the icons have gone from the top. Just press V again, and it brings them back up. It sends out another pulse. So yeah, I'm just running. Other things you can eat are these berries. Oops, wrong one button. That one. Too many games with different keys. Is that one? Oh, and this is our first challenge. This is going to come after us now. It's a knack to this. Because wild since have done it. Oh no, he got me. Oh. And as you see, I've lost a knack. Come on. There we go, and I'll take that. The remains of this creature might shed light on how to increase chances of survival. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. So if I press tab uh, again, I can bring up these berries, stick them in my hand instead of my zapper, eat them, and they give me one health bar back. The nuts give you half a health bar back. So places where you can um, gather resources look like this. There's normally like a flower pattern of material around about with a central pillar in the middle. Um, to begin with, you're going to mine that in a second, get rid of it. That one over there where those big animals are, they, they won't harm me by the way. Um, that one is for... I can remember, so let's go have a look. <laughs> oh, I better put my zapper back in my hand. Limestone, I think it is, for making cement. Uh, yeah, limestone. Okay. The birds won't hurt you either, those birds. As you can see, you can mine from here, or just press the F key. No, which key is it to mine? I can't remember. Um, E key together. Fourth objective, build the hub. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution, ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. All right, she should have now. Good. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's iron there. So some good iron there. There is some more iron here. So we've got two iron sources. What else have we got around here? Iron, iron. And there's some more iron just over there by the looks of it. So it's quite a good place around here to build. Um, so yeah, I think we'll start somewhere around here I'm just trying to find a flattish spot to build my hub I think I'll build it here to begin with where are we on the map have we got a map yet I can't remember no maybe it's not so Q to build hub so this is your starting base and uh, yeah it's fairly large and it grows um, you rotated with the mouse wheel and once you're happy with it left mouse to place it and that's all the basis for the congratulations you that is the basis of a base hub feature manual craft bench hub feature hub terminal fifth objective complete hub upgrade one note the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. So basically what you need to do, you need to use this bench to turn the iron ore you just collected into iron ingots. And you use the fisk, fiskit hub here uh, for your tier zero objective. Click on that. Um, it will give you equipment workshop, portable miner, and inventory slot. And you need 
10 iron bars. To get iron bars, you come to here, you need to create iron ingots from the ore, so you click on that, click on the craft button. Oh, I thought we could click on that and stay. Out of space bar just to keep it switched on. There we go. This is another game I spent a lot of hours in. I spent probably about 500 hours in this game in total. Um, I'm not a great architect, so there's no monumental buildings or anything I've created. But I know all the basics of this game and you know the best ways of doing things sometimes. So, now we've got an iron, we need 10 iron rods, and they require one iron ingot. So that tells you what you need to make that. So, 10 iron rods, there we go, we've got 11 by mistake, doesn't matter, we'll be using them. Come back to the hub, press E, tier 1, that's a milestone I want. We have the iron ingots, the iron bars there, drop them in, and upgrade the hub. So now we've got more of a frame. And we have an inventory store. Congratulations, you have unlocked building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade to note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. So next we need 20 iron bars and um, 10 iron plates. So we can 20 iron bars, let's just create them from what we've got at the moment. And 10 iron plates. Oh, plates take three per plate, so we haven't got enough iron. So what we can do is, if I remember how to do it, Q, Production, Equipment Workshop. I'll just stick this somewhere where I can, not going to be too much in the way for me. Yeah. Here for now, I'll square that to that, just make sure it's not really... There we go. And now in the equipment workshop, what do I need to make a portable miner? Iron plate and iron rods. So let's create some iron plates. <laughs> let's go back here. It's money to dig this. Oop. E to mine. Right, I couldn't have find plates there. Sorry, I in all there. Ingots, create them. And that's one for one. And an iron plates. So I've got six iron plates, 79 rods. Right, now I can build a miner. More than one, possibly. There we go, I've got three of them. I know it's used all my resources, but the thing is, these things are way, way quicker at mining than you are. So you've got to drag them in your hand, and uh, press E, oop, behave, sorry, it's just a... Why is it not? Oh, yeah, left click to put it down fully, I lied. And now it'll do a little animation to set itself up. Which I think is brilliant, the way they've done on the animation is excellent. So that's that one going. Uh, 
Next one. And the next one. And these things will mine a hundred ore before the stop. So, 14, 15, let's take that for the moment. So they don't need any power or anything, that's it, they will go and go and go and hit 100. And then they will stop and just take the ore out of them and they will start again. So I just needed that so I could create um, clay, uh, iron ingots. This first bit's just to show how it's gone on with the game, really. It can be a little bit tedious sometimes waiting for things like this to happen. But you very quickly get machines and buildings that do that for you. There we go, iron rods, we need 20, so let's just get 20 of them. And iron plates, we needed 10, I believe. Still probably not good enough, have we? Oh yeah, we should. That tells you when you can make. Oh yeah, so it's three iron ingots for two iron plates, so it's, it's 1.5 ingots per plate. So there we go, we've got enough of them. Oop, wrong button. To now, you can just double click on this and have one button loaded there to click the upgrade. And it's upgraded our hub a bit more. We've now got a cover. Uh, empty room. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. So this now is Seventh a... objective. Complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Shut up now, thank you. So um, this is the biomass burner. Um, you can run around and pick up with the E key these bushes. Later on you get um, a chainsaw or a truck down the trees. Um, but yeah, you need these bushes at the moment. It's about all you can get to get this going. There are some places where there's sticks on the ground. So wood is better than uh, leaves, but just for now, we'll just grab some of this. No little bushes here. Let's just clear this out. Nothing else that clears out your starting area, so you can actually see what you're doing. That will grow some more berries back, by the way. Some more nuts back, sorry. And the other ones will grow more berries. Mm -hmm. Right, that should be enough. Let's take the ore. Let's double click on it. Let's double click there and it transfers it to your inventory. So I want to be able to build a if I put my Q, my build menu. A smelter. A smelter needs five, uh, five iron bars and eight copper wire. So now if we look at a V, because it talks it unlocked copper, then we've got copper ore ping. There's a copper ore over there. I'm just going to take one of these for now. Empty it and pick it up. So where's the closest copper? That one there. Better make sure I've got my zapper in my hand because no doubt there'll be a beastie waiting to attack me.
you tend to find that those, there you go, like, I don't call them wolf type things or armoured wolves, hang around the, you see me now, see? Ah, still too late. And he will drop a big drop it. There it is. Carpus, I think it is. Right, let's just quickly get rid of this. And then put down our miner. How much ore did we get? Copper ore. Iron ore. Iron ore. Iron ore. Where did copper ore go? Who's Mington? Oh, there it is. Being stupid. <clears throat> so you can see it's quite quick, this. I'll, I'll wait and look at about. Yeah, it'll take 42. Um, zap it back in my hand. Going back to a base. Ooh. Well, I'm going to pick up some of this vegetation. Limestone, we're going to need as well. Need as well. Sorry, so I'm just going to grab some of this while I'm way past. So that first one to hit was just a random node. This one's actually sat on the deposit. There we go. Come back to our base. Oh, wrong button. I need to make copper ingots. I'm not going to do all the iron, iron ingots will be here forever. But yeah, I'm going to just get the, the wire done. I just uh, I need to get some wire done, so I'm just going to convert all that for now into copper ingots. There we go, iron ingots. Let's just do 20 or 30 or so, just to get us going. Do I needed iron rods? I can't remember how many. I think there's five iron rods, but let's do them all. And a wire from, from the copper ingots. And this is to build the smelter. So each iron ingot gives you two copper wire. So that'll do for now. So now if I run around here, because my power supply is there. I can build a smelter. I see you've got the orange arrows going in, green arrows coming out. So I'm going to build two of these. Later on you can snap them together because you get a um, concrete base. And I need some cabling. So two for cabling. You can see it in the bottom there. And if I click on there, oh, I'm going to need cabling on me. So I need to go make some cabling. To make cabling, you need copper wire. I shouldn't need that much cabling. Maybe it's 10. That should do it. So click on two again, because I want the copper cabling. Connect that to there. No, no. F, take that down. What I need to do first is Q, power line. Oh no, power cable. Oh, I can only connect one at the moment, can I? Okay. So I can only connect one at the moment. 
Um, yeah, I forgot about that. I connected that one because that's that will get another um, biofuel generator in a moment. Then click on this, press E on this anyway, and you can. I've got wood there. Wood is the best thing at the moment, which I can use. Stick that in, and we can see um, that's how much we're producing. Capacity is 20 megawatts. We're consuming 4 megawatts. But that will go up when I click on this. I've got to pick an, a recipe. I want this to smell iron ingots, so I pick iron ingots. And I can dump up to 100 iron ingots into it. Sorry, iron ore into it. And that will now convert that iron ingots. It saves me having to sit and do it. I'm going to do the same with this one, but I'll do it with copper. Right, what do we need to actually go up the level on this one now? Just want to get those set up. Let's see what do we actually need. We need 20 copper plate. I'm sorry, 20 iron plates, 20 iron rods, and 20 wire. So I will keep it in one key. So 20 wire. Let's quickly generate that. There we go. 20 iron rods. Oh, I need some more ingots. Well, you know what? I've got that building out here. I've got that smelting them out here, so I'm just going to take them out of here. Uh, there we go. I'll put some more ore back in that. There we go. Here we go. Going a long way around. So, iron rods. Now I've got some iron ingots. We need 20. There we go. Iron plates. I've got enough for 12. But I've also got a couple of my inventory. 14, so I need another. Let's do it here for a moment. Six. That's enough. So iron plates. This is how many you can make at any one time, these numbers, based on what you've got in the inventory. So that should be everything I need for the next level. Click on that. Select it. Let's double click on all these load them and click upgrade and we've now got a bit more upgraded building we now got a room in here not that you ever do anything in there but congratulations the you have unlocked scanner feature limestone new buildings and recipes which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively eighth objective complete hub upgrade for note use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results that's what I was looking for earlier, power poles. They allow you to connect four things to them. So the next upgrade requires 75 iron plates, 20 wire, uh, cabling, sorry, and 10 concrete. Okay, now I've actually got some um, limestone on me so I can create concrete. I'm going to need to remember. Got oh, rocky again. 10, so I've got enough there to do that already. I need 20 cabling. I've only got one cabling, so I need more wire. Okay, create cabling. cabling and I need 75 iron sheets so I need a lot more iron ingots take them and fill that back up as best I can I'm just going to dump this uh, I think it's carpus hog remains or the hogs are they hog remains in there because I don't need them at the moment Right, I need 75 iron plates. I've only got enough for 52 at the moment. What can we build? Smelter or constructor? So now I can build a constructor, but I need reinforced iron plates to do that. Reinforced iron plates need iron plates and screws, and screws need iron rods. See, so it's all interlinked. So let's just 
create a couple of screws. So for every iron, you get one iron rod. Um, one iron rod creates four screws. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is build a constructor out here. We've got everything for no, I need iron plate. Reinforced iron plate. I need two reinforced iron plates, what I need for that? Oh, I need more iron plates. Right. There we go, it's enough to build two. Right, do I have enough now to build a constructor? Yes. At last. <laughs> so again, just build it over here. For now. I will want a power pole, so I need more wire for the power pole. This game does get easier, believe me. Um, I'm out of copper, so I need to... where was my copper? That way, that way. It was past my... it was over there. If you ever forget, just obviously hit the key, and I've got limestone. Copper and iron. So the copper is over there. And now that hog's been killed, which shouldn't be a problem anymore, and you can see the little flashing icon over there once you found it. So I'm just trying to avoid this bit of a drop here. Uh, grab all that. And that one's go away and start collecting another 100. Sorry, I keep it in the wrong key. So I've just finished playing Stationers and um, Icarus and it's different key combos. Let's grab some of this one here. So copper ingots. Now I should be able to build a power pole. So press F, take that out. Press Q, power pole, stick a power pole here. And now cabling, so two, or you can press Q and pick the cabling. You can actually sign, so if I go to this, I can construct if I hover over it and press three. It's now assigned item three at the bottom. And if you press Alt, if I come out of this, I think it's Alt and roll the mouse wheel. It scrolls through the various hot bars. But for the moment, I've just got one. So stem um, two for the cabling. Connect that to the pole. That's one of four connections. That's two of four. That's three of four. That's four of four. So I needed this to make. I can't remember. <laughs> What I need for the upgrade. Oh, it tells me at the top there. Uh, cement iron plates. That's what I wanted this for iron plates. So select iron plates and dump the iron ingots in there. Uh, take all these iron ingots, dump them in there. Take the iron ore. Dump some of that in there. Set this one up for copper ingots and dump the copper ore in there. As you can see, we're starting to automate things now and it makes things quicker. Oh, yeah, that's the ore, iron ore spot, isn't it? So 16, I need 75, I think it was. 
but I've also used up some of the other bits that are required. 20 cabling? No, I've got 20 cabling alone. How much cable can I make? 12, and I've got 11, so that should be enough. There we go. So you don't have to wait to have it all. If you've got one of the batches free, uh, filled up, you can actually dump it in. Even if you've got a half batch, you can dump it in. It'll tell you how many you need, and the bar slowly will go up. Yeah, just make sure I'm keeping an eye on the power. So, how are we doing in here? We're down to seven. That's how quickly they're going down because I'm now drawing three units of drawing power. If you click on a pole, you can see the capacity is 20 megawatts. I'm pulling 12 at the moment. Or you can click on the power generator, whether it be a biofuel generator or a, a coal or oil. So let's stick the rest of that wood in there. So 24 in plates. What are we doing here? up to 30. It takes up 46, so we need another, what's that, 29. 39. So I'm just waiting at doing it all I can also build some if I have some iron ingots in my inventory. Just to speed things along a little bit. So many of these quickly. And that probably is enough then to in a constructor. 14, so it's 52 I've got on me. Oh, we're out of power. So leaves, the leaves burn down much quicker. You get a lot more leaves, but they burn down hellish fast. Will be enough for now. Anyway, we've got enough of these for the next upgrade. When are you going to start talking again? Congratulations, you have unlocked. Building, conveyor belts and poles. Inventory, additional slots. Ninth objective, complete hub upgrade five. Note, portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice, when planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Any more new equipment? So we've got these conveyor belts and poles. We shall use in a second. Anything else special there? So what I can do is, 